Hello there, we are going to be doing some slice rope halters. These are the this is the last one I did. This is the one I did just before that one. I'm going to be doing it on a baby donkey. And we are going to be using a light bright green. To start it off, I'm going to do a 15 to 20 inch string. And you're going to fold it in half like this. You are then going to find the middle of those. Which is about right here and you will put a knot there Seen here. You'll need a string, of course, some scissors, and some glue. Super glue. Once you have put the knot, you will find put it on your Donkey here, see this is the knot right here. And you're going to, on the other side, find the middle area and you will put a knot right there. Make sure it's not too far down in which it will just look weird on your horse's muzzle. I'm so sorry. I accidentally tightened it wrong. Okay, so it should look like this. Not right here. Not right there. You will then cut this if you haven't. And then you will spread these apart. So it's like this. We'll then place it on the horse's muzzle. And 
This donkey's head is a little weird, so sorry. About like that. Find this. Put a knot right there. Do not tighten the knots all the way so that way you can, if needed, see that's a little too, too loose, you can tighten it. So that it fits. You don't want it to fit snug. I put it a little too tight there, but that is fine for this one. You can put these extra strings around the back of the neck just to get them out of the way. So like that. So sorry. Like this. You are then going to measure from this knot right here all the way to the front of the neck. You are then going to put a knot right there. Again, do not tighten it all the way. Place it back onto your model. Tighten it. Should look like this. You are then putting it back on your your model. going to do this going to tie right here tie a knot right there can double knot it with both strings or you can do a single knot. I do the single knot. So if needed, you can slide the knot. To the right place. If needed. This is what we have right here so far. Might have to tighten it up a little bit. Tighten it 
find it. Place it onto your model. So sorry. <laughs> not working with me here you are going to do the same thing so it looks like right there I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side right about there So this is what it'll essentially look like. Put it onto your model. And tan. As shown, the not moved, so I'll just put it back a little bit. And then put it on your model. Line everything up. It'll look like this. You can then shorten two strings. So I'm going to do these two shorter ones. I'm going to take those and trim them. Just like that. Just like that. So it will be like this. Then on one of these, you are going to put a loop, a tie a loop, like that. Can be on any side. You don't want to make the loop too big, so then it's just tacky. It's a pretty nice loop. At this point, you're going to take your glue, and on each knot, put a little bit of the glue. Way. They stay where they are. You don't have to worry about anything loosening up or anything.
do not need to put a lot. Just very little. And then wait to let that dry. You can also trim the loop extra before or after, just like that. So this is your end product. Just let it dry. Excuse the noise in the background. It is cops. You're then going to put once it's dry. Put it on your. on your model put this string that you have left through the loop Sorry, the string is not working with me here. There we go. Make sure the glue is dry though. Otherwise, it's gonna get stuck to your fingers and you just, you don't want that. And Tighten it up, and you are essentially done. You can either tie a knot, or what I do is just slide it under. And just tighten it up. All done. You can trim this. I'm going to trim it a bit. And then you're all done. Cute little slice. Alter.